Hello guys, it's Victor here from 3 in 1 Golf. Today I'm going to be playing 3 holes on the Arpichat 2 system and show you how it works and what you need to think about when you're using the system. So I'm going to show you how to start a round and uh, how it works. So to, to start the play, you just uh, press play practice and then you choose play a game and then you have uh, a lot of different courses that you can play here. Yeah. I just have the standard courses but you can uh, uh, buy more courses to the Artichat 2 system if you want to. Okay, we're gonna play a course uh, that's named uh, the Canadian Club. Here you have the settings and you can choose uh, uh, if uh, you want the information about uh, the club to show always, never and uh, just briefly, just to see the information of your shot. We also have the graphics, the game rules. Hmm, I think we're gonna have gimme putts. So I'm gonna try out uh, the putting on the opti shot and see how it works. I'm gonna set it to 5 meters. And uh, you also have the environment and physics. So you can choose the green speed, fairway speed. Uh, the wind and uh, uh, also the difficulty of the rough and uh, bunkers. I'm gonna save that. Okay, now we have saved our settings and we're gonna play the first three holes. So you push play. Uh, the opti shot is. Uh... I just have it placed on the mat on our Pro Golf simulator, as you can see. Uh, if you want to play, if you want to do it properly, when you when you have your own, you should try to get uh, so the opti shot is uh, uh, at the same height as the ground uh, that it's standing on, so it's uh, loading to the ground, just like. Uh, the true golf system that we have here. Okay, here we have a play through over the first hole. Okay guys, we're at the first hole. It's a par 4. It's uh, 342 meters. As you can see up here. We also have the map. So we can see how the hole looks. Uh, we currently have the driver. It's very important to to choose the right club, uh, otherwise you'll get the, the wrong lengths of the shots. I just have a low peg at the moment because I think the uh, shot comes with uh, two different types of two different types of pegs, and yes, I just have the short one at the moment. So when we're gonna hit our shot, we have the driver chosen. And we also have to choose what kind of ball flight we have left when we play outside. So I'm gonna have it set to the one in the middle. Okay, let's see if we can hit the fairway. Yeah, it's a decent drive from the fairway. We can see that uh, my club face was uh, 3.2 degrees open. The screen part was on play. And uh, yeah. So for the second shot, we have uh, 82 meters left. And uh, I'm gonna use. Uh, 
50-60 wedge. Also, one important thing guys, I'm gonna show you. When you place the ball on the octi shot, it's very important that if you're not using the peg, you place the ball in the middle. If you place the ball to the right or to the left and hit your shot, uh, the octo shot thinks that the ball is lying here. So it, it will tell you that uh, that you're, if it's lying there, it will tell you that you hit it on the, on the toe and vice versa if it's lying on the other side. So place the ball in the middle, very important. Okay guys, like I said, we got 82 meters left. Let's see if we can hit the green. That's a nice birdie. And you have the scorecard. Okay, this is the second hole. And uh, sorry if the frame rate is a bit laggy because I have the official set to the uh, highest settings on my very 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 cheap laptop just so i can move it up to the to this uh, to this uh, simulator space uh, okay guys the second hole is a uh, r4 it's uh, 480 meters so we're gonna hit the drive again let's see if we can hit the fairway one more time Let's do it. Oh, I think it's to the left, to the right. That's pretty decent. I usually hit my my drives around 250 meters. We got 155 meters left to the pin. Uh, so I'm gonna hit the iron seven. So I'm going to switch it to the Iron 7 in the program. So I put the ball in the middle of the octo shot again. I'm going to see if we can hit the green from here. Decent shot. I'm gonna gimme putt on that as well. I, I have the gimme putt set to 5 meters. I think it should have been smaller because I wanted to show you guys the putting, but I can do that uh, on the driving range after this. Uh, okay, we've got a part 3 here. That's 187 meters. Okay, I have the right club and the, the ball fight chosen. Let's do 187 meters. Decent shot. Oh yeah, it's it's uh, it's too far away to to be to do the gimme putt. So I, I can show you the putting now. Okay. So I landed uh, outside the gimme range of five meters. So we got a six meter putt. Uh, so I can show you how uh, the putting works in the after shot as well. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you a treat. Here I have the Spider X putter from Taylor May. Here we have a close-up. There you go. 
I haven't uh, tried it yet, so this will be my first cut with it. And I think the cutting on the aftershot is really hard. Or cutting in simulators is hard in general, to be honest. Uh, okay guys, I think we're gonna have to aim a bit to the right. There we go. Now let's see if we can get to get the wall close. We just need to get it within 5 meters to get uh, the game up, but it uh, would be awesome to nail it. Ah, way too hard. Stop, stop. <laughs> we got birdies on all the holes, guys. <laughs> Three under. Okay, guys, that's everything from me today. I've shown you a bit of how the aftershock works, and uh, I've shown you, shown you when I play the three holes. And uh, if you want to see more content about the aftershot or have any questions about it, feel free to let me know in the comments. And also remember to subscribe and like the video.